temples, waterfalls, surrounded by hills and forest. Welcome to Banavasi, a timeless treasure nestled in the heart of Karnataka, India. Join us today on a journey as we explore the rich history and cultural heritage of this beautiful ancient town. Banavasi was the ancient capital of the Kannada Empire Kadamba that ruled all of modern-day Karnataka state. The first native empire with Kannada-speaking lineage to bring Kannada and Karnataka to prominence. It holds historical significance in the region with rich heritage dating back to the century BCE. Known for its archaeological remains and cultural heritage, Banavasi is in Uttar Kannada district the oldest town in Karnataka. Banavasi was once the capital of Kadamba dynasty. The town is surrounded by lush greenery and is renowned for its Madhukeshwara temple, an ancient structure dedicated to Lord Shiva, one of the offbeat places in Karnataka. Over the centuries, Banavasi has witnessed various dynasties. The village has a rich history and is believed to have been an important centre of learning and culture during the medieval period. The village is home to several temples, some of which date back to the 12th century and it's also surrounded by several waterfalls. Today, we will take you to three most amazing places in Banavasi. Madhukeshwara Temple, Bhimana Gudda and Unchalli Falls. When you visit Banavasi, you can explore these three places in a single day. So, Banni Hogana! The Madhukeshwara Temple is one of the oldest ancient temples dedicated to Lord Shiva. It is also known for its cultural, historical and archaeological significance. The temple is believed to have been built during the 9th century by the Kadamba dynasty, making it one of the oldest temples in Karnataka. It also features a unique blend of architectural styles with the river Varada flowing around the town on three sides. The Madhukeshwara temple is renowned for its intricate carvings, particularly on the pillars and walls, depicting various mythological scenes and deities. The temple complex also consists of a sanctum sanctorum, a pillared hall and a nandi mandapa. The nritya mandapa also consists of a 7 feet tall monolithic statue of a nandi bull. This is positioned in such a way that the left eye seems to be looking at Lord Shiva and the right eye is directed towards Parvati. What is interesting to note that the line of sight has been created in such a way that the pillars do not intersect it. The historical and cultural significance of the Madhukeshwara temple has made it a prominent landmark in Banavasi and a symbol of the region's rich heritage. This temple is 24 kilometers away from Sirsi, Karnataka. Our next journey is to the mystical Bhimana Gutta. Here we are at the heart of Bhimana Gutta, a place steeped in history and surrounded by the beauty of Mother Nature. Bhimana Gutta is 52 kilometers away from Banavasi and it's a sunset viewpoint. The breathtaking landscape is 5,000 feet above the sea level. This is also a part of the Western Ghats. Bhimana Gudda tells the story of Bhima, a mighty warrior from the Mahabharata. He rested here during his exile. 
Bhimana Gutta has not only shared tales of the past but has also given us profound connection with the natural world. One of the nature's hidden gems Unchali Falls in the Western Ghats unfolds its majestic beauty. Nestled amidst the lush greenery, Unchali Falls stands as a testament to the power and grace of Mother Nature. Unchali Falls is formed by the Aghanashini River cascading down a cliff, creating a breathtaking spectacle. The surrounded forests are a treasure trove of biodiversity. Unchali Falls plays a crucial role in sustaining a diverse ecosystem, providing a habitat for various flora and fauna. In Karnataka, this waterfall is unique as it maintains a continuous flow throughout all 365 days of the year. Whenever we plan for a journey, we also look for food and stay. In Banavasi, you can find few resorts and home stays with amazing food. So hope you have enjoyed the journey with us. There are a few more beautiful places around Banavasi. Until then, signing off. This is Arpita from Unexplored India. See you.